How could I say a school where they teach electronics? A school where they uh, teach okay. electronics. Okay. <laughs> In my endless quest to learn all things tech, I've come to the most tech city in the world. I'm George Takei, and this is Takei's Take, Tokyo. Tokyo. The world's most populous city is also its most high-tech. The origin of global technology trends. The cars, the trains, even the toilets use Vanguard tech design. The Akihabara district, a place where pop culture and tech collide. Once known as Electric Town, it was where people bought household electronics and appliances. Today, it's the shopping center for enthusiasts of video games, anime, and manga. It's dotted with maid cafes where young women in costume fawn over patrons. To get a grip on what's happening here and all throughout Japan, I meet with tech journalist Nobi Hayashi. So Akihabara is the center of all, all single electronics here in Japan. After World War II, this was a flat land and people started black market. That was about the time transistor came out. Some people started uh, repairing radio or other electronics. And then a uh, school where they teach electronics was founded near Akihabara. I see. Culturally, Japanese people, if they start something, they try to perfect it until they master it. Yes. In Japan, we call them otaku. Those people who are obsessed with computer become computer otaku. Some people are obsessed with anime. Yes. So they become anime otaku. We call them geeks and nerds. <laughs> yes, exactly. We walk through the radio center, a sprawling electronics bazaar. Radio cassette is in yes. Japanese. Yes. So they try to put everything. This is where you could one. buy an old boombox, a Walkman, a Geiger counter. It's also where you can buy all kinds of transistors and tubes. Who sells this stuff? But what has changed? Nobi explains. Recent technology has allowed so many youngsters to uh, innovate on their own. And if they want to start a you know, new company, and for example, you know, make robot or you know, yes. gadgets, Akihabara is a perfect place because you know, they have all the electronics store, uh, so yes. they can just uh, go out shop their parts and start building. It turns out young people come and shop these passageways of old tech. I'm joined by Akinori Takahage, who has a startup called Moth. He and his peers shop here for parts to build their prototypes. Kana Nakano is a young innovator at a startup here in Tokyo that also shops in Akihabara. We can get tools or devices or sensors in the Akihabara. There are many shops. This old neighborhood with its old tech is a resource for new innovators. This confluence of technology and fantasy is a hallmark of Japanese innovation. It's a great first stop on my Tokyo journey and I've only scratched the surface. <laughs> I've been involved with theater and storytelling my entire life. 